Big Sur. It's beautiful. It's very fast. It's nice. But the security system on this one is very hard to disable for the file system. So if you use Hackintosh, normally if you go to utility, you can disable the gatekeeper, okay, very easily. But now it failed because the only way that you can do this one is to go to boot into a recovery and disable it from there. I want to use the S bin. Uh, the S bin now is locked. So before if you sudo mount uw after you disable permission deny and also sip is also disabled so if I check csr util status so the system integrity protection status is disabled already, but you can't still write into system data. Okay, the root is already locked, so we have to make it so, so it's rootless. Okay, so we're gonna boot with Open Core. Now we need to boot from the recovery partition. Okay, so in Mac OS recovery. So you're gonna go to utility and we go to terminal. Okay, so we're at terminal right now. From here you're gonna type CSR util authenticated root disable. So now it said Disable authenticated is successful. So if you want to disable the SIP, all you need to do is to type CSR util disable. Did the authentication root disable? This util list. So if you look here, the Big Sur SSD is actually this 3 S6. So what we need to do is to mount that using this command. What we want to do is to make a directory called non-root in our user account. So we make that by type mkdir non-root. But you have to have this tilde slash non root and when you do that it will pop up so now if I want to make another one I say make directory non root one it will show up as non root one see this all right so now we have this one here non root what we're gonna do is go we're gonna mount this one the big sur onto this so what we're gonna do sudo mount so we're going to sudo mount dash o no browse minus t apfs dev this 3 s6 this is this 3 the big server right here okay and then we mount it onto our non root that is where we can write or read. Now it show up as a big server. See that? 
Now when we open it up, we can do whatever we want in here. But make sure that the path is no longer the root. So the path is going to be, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my, um, so I'm going to do pseudo move. But you see, the S bin now is under uh, non-root. So we have to do non-root. At the same time, we also have to do this one too, the destination. Non-root. NTFS. So, now we moved it. Good. The next one we want to do, but again, we have to put tilde non root. Okay. We have to blast this one. That's one thing is that if we don't blast it, they will not register. So now we have to sudo blast folder non root system library services boot EFI created a snapshot. Okay? We need to do this one. So when we do this, then we should be okay. But actually, if you can do this all the way bigger like this, you have a space in between. Enable the SIP and the authenticated root. Every time you boot, you can also remount the Bixer. So the Bixer SD is this 3S6. So let's see if it's Let's see if it's gonna go up or not. There you go. The big source is back here again. So you can do it again. 